Hola, it's Robert Newman, founder of Inbound REM, getting ready to review uh, KV Core's updates. So I've reviewed KV Core before. <clears throat> For those of you that are not familiar uh, with me, I'm uh, a well-known uh, real estate marketing consultant. I've been doing it for a long, long time, 14, 15, 16 years, something like that. And uh, before that, I ran some of the world's largest call centers. So I'm incredibly familiar with CRMs and uh, sales automation in general. And so I break down these systems and explain them to you. Now, what I'm going to do tonight is KV Core, for the first time in a very long time, actually has updates for me to talk about. I did a review in 2022, which you can find on my YouTube channel. Uh, still, if you if you go down far enough on the first page, you put in KV Core and you go way, way down to the bottom. I'm still there. It's still my review. I'm still on the first page. I'm the very, in the very middle, actually. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, and, and the review that I did was a user review. So I had uh, access to the system and I showed all the features and functionality. Now, one thing to say before I jump into my update, I want you guys to notice all of the other, these other KV Core um, updates uh, from all sorts of other people. Uh, Jaime and Kyle and uh, a, a new lady that's popping up in the search results, Kim Barber. Never before in the history of real estate have there been this many reviews. And some of these people, like Kim, are actually starting to get in there and say, these are the exact ways that I use this platform to make money. So they're giving away their secrets. Traditionally, uh, real estate is very competitive. And so it's very unusual for real estate agents to be telling you, other real estate agents, how and why they're doing what they're doing. So why would they be doing this? Well, the answer is simple. Kim and Jaime and most of these people, they're all part of eXp. And eXp is effectively employing a very multi-level marketing-like uh, incentives to recruit other agents. And for the first time ever, people like Kim can recruit anywhere in the United States, add you effectively to using my language for downline and make commissions off your recruitment. She can also teach and train you. So it makes sense for Kim and Kyle and uh, Jaime to pull back the curtain and give you uh, some or all of their secrets inside these training videos because uh, to do so might increase your trust, your level of expertise, and you in turn might decide to join eXp or join their specific uh, team segment of eXp. So, I don't do any of that. I am not currently affiliated with eXp, though I really do like the business model. Uh, I do own some of their stock, um, but uh, I'm not working with them. Having said all that, let's dive into the KV Core update. So my video was done in 2022 uh, or 2020, and what I'm going to do prior to the pandemic, right before it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the gaps of what's been happening in the last couple of years, um, automatically KV Core. did the client. Uh, here's what I did to get that information. I've gone through all of KV Core's Facebook. I've gone through KV Core's YouTube channel. I've gone through KV Core's website. I've done all of this so that you people who are doing the research do not have to do it if you don't want to. And I've looked at their product updates, and then I've examined all the videos that they've posted about their product updates. And what I have done is I'm going to put links to their product updates in the notes to this video, okay, to this update, so that you don't have to go searching around like I did if you're interested in seeing what they've got for some of this. Now, for some of their older updates from basically June 2020 all the way through the mid to late part of 2021, they actually had product updates that were film, like film that they did. So in no particular order, well, that's not true. Uh, and to give you an understanding of, I don't do updates all that often, okay? And the reason I don't do updates all this often, I get so uh, exhausted with agents like calling into me and saying, well, you haven't updated your 
blankety blank video since 2015 or 2016 or whatever the the thing is right it's pretty rare that these crms do anything like once they build the system almost all of these crms just pile people into them that's it and they update their product very little and very rarely what they do a lot of is they update their marketing or they update their sales strategies they and so they make existing things sound new very rarely do they do and even when they do do that these product updates simply aren't all that notable to the overall performance of the system that you're buying which really means that it's not worth my time to go through and do a whole nother deep dive review what i'm going to do this year in 2022 since we are swinging into a rapidly changing economy and by the way i've been in real estate since the last time that we were in a changing economy so for me this is familiar territory i'm going to say that um and i want to give out a sense of comfort for all of you because there are some things that we can count on and one of those things that you can count on as an agent is that there's going to be a lot of updates to some of these systems that you're researching which is great for you for the very first time ever we're going to watch kv core and everybody else losing like platform value and revenue in some cases probably a lot and so when we see that they're going to start doing stuff they should have done a long time ago everybody not just kv core but we will be talking about kv core this time all right so kv core has only had that they've announced in total on their website they've only had i think less than 10 product updates since 2015. all right so let's look you would think that if they had a product update, they'd probably announce it, right? So February 2012, all right, through 2022, that's 10 years. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And right now, in November of 2022, I'm here to tell you they have done more updates in 2022 so, than they have done the entire 10 years prior. So we're going to talk about it. All right. In June 2020, uh, KV Core integrated BombBomb, a message video service. They integrated it inside their dashboard so that you can add video for an additional charge into their platform. It's a very clever integration. It's built into KV Core, unlike other people where you have to integrate in weird ways, KV Core actually built in an integration for people that wanted to use it. They also had some examples of how you could use BombBomb. It's a great upgrade. I'm a big believer in BombBomb. I've reviewed BombBomb. I've, I've interviewed Darren Dawson of BombBomb, the CEO of BombBomb. And guess what? It's a great service. Is it a major upgrade to KV Core? No, it is not. It's going to be relevant for a very small handful of agents, and most likely the vast majority of the agents this would be most useful for uh, are not going to be on KV Core. And what do I mean by that? Um, KV Core is a team system. Like mega agents who are building teams are going to be using KV, KV Core. Oftentimes, these mega agents are not actually leveraging the platform directly. They're having all their one, year one through three agents get used to CRMs and leverage KV Core because le like KV Core is the Swiss army knife of real estate CRMs. You can do a lot with it, but ultimately it's slow, clunky, and connected to websites that you can customize very little. It, it is definitely not um, a system. It, it has limited uh, efficiencies. Okay, uh, but it scales well, so and it's cheap. So KV Core continues to be the go-to system for all these mega agents out there recruiting and doing, you know, all the things. That's why there's so much buzz around it. Now, here's one thing I do love about KV Core, especially now as I went back and re-reviewed. There are tons of videos by qualified agents making lots of money, who uh, teaching you how they did leverage KV Core, the ads that they wrote, exactly what their automation looks like, their follow-up systems. So actually KV Core, even though once again, it's like middle of the road because there's so much documentation, so much help. It actually like if you're a new agent, you should be looking at KV Core because there's so much support out there for it now, how to make money off it. It's like Real Geeks uh, used to be when Jeff was at the at the helm. 
you know, there's just people out there saying, this is how other agents are using it. This is how we're making money. This is what a lead looks like. This is how we're working that lead. This is what, like how we drive that lead from beginning to close. These are great things to know. And the, the education, the usability ends up outweighing other functionality that you can get in other places or the fact that you can get everything that you get in KV Core for a fraction of the price in Follow Up Boss. Um, there's a few exceptions. Some of the automation is done for you in KV Core. Some of the, uh, you can't do text messaging very well out of Follow Up Boss. But other than, like, there's also things at Follow Up Boss that KV Core doesn't do. And there is a literal, 80% price difference in the favor of follow-up boss. All right. Having said that, lead pawns, um, sync, follow, follow-up bosses, Sierra Interactive have something similar. The pond, as it was described in their marketing materials, is a little bit different in KV Core. They are having some automation to add and subtract leads to the pond so that that's right here. You can see where I'm looking at it. Um, this uh, feature, hold on, as with, as with most things with KV Core, this feature is hard to identify. I like that. The concept is cool. I like it. It's not unique. These guys are starting to keep up. They're starting to notice that they're getting beaten in a lot of different ways in KV Core. What I'm seeing here in KV Core in particular is that they are starting to pay attention. They are starting to say, oh, maybe we should do some stuff. Uh, Local Logic is a mapping service that throws a uh, property that you're listing and then has amenities that are automatically scoped out on Google Maps. You can see uh, the product through the product launch link that I'm going to include in the notes. This is what it looks like. There are, through the Local Logic, there are some connections into, uh, or maybe I found it on their Facebook page. Yeah, I found it on their Facebook page. I found it someplace else. Anyway, there is a link, and I'll see if I can put it into the sh into the notes so that you can see it. But basically, it's just a feature that finds other features near your listing and throws them into a map widget so that you can then apply that to your marketing. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's like a 4. You can do that in other ways. It's not. It was just literally probably something that KV Core did in order to address the increasing understanding coming out of agents that effectively the best marketing is to be a locally recognized, like, sorry, my cat is just like all over the place for this video. Um, a locally recognized expert and is saying that this is a way to identify that. Unfortunately, it's usually far more complex. Um, all right. Now we're going to get into, and I don't know, remember what this was, so I'm going to lead it. All right, November 2022, big update comes in on, on Inside Real Estate, and this is what I'm talking about. Now, KV Core all of a sudden throws in almost what feels like a complete rework of a ton of their tools. Needless to say, watching an economy like a, like a changing economy, I have no doubt that they've started to watch users bail off the system. They've been getting fierce competition from Ylopo and for, uh, from other services, plus a lot of agents are going to be adjusting, scaling their budget downwards. So are teams and brokers who feel probably that the system isn't working very well or isn't being used by their agents. So no doubt they're starting to see attrition. This is probably a response to that attrition. Here we go. They have a, a list of design upgrades. There is no link. No example. So likely you have to be in the system and they advertised a couple of design templates. Do I really think this is going to make a difference with KV Core? No. But I applaud the fact that after years and years of every reviewer I know saying that KV Core was me in the design area, actually well behind everybody else, uh, they seem to be at least giving some lip service to that. And so I deeply appreciate the, the intent. Opt-in compliance for texting, a must-have upgrade for people who are using low-value uh, text messaging strategies, which KV Core is something to be said about this. Guys, why Lopo, Structurally, Lead Inferno, I can go on and on and on. Text messaging has been one of the on-fire methods of trying to reach out to customers in 2021 and certainly 
maximum in 2022, which has yielded the same um, absolute exhaustion coming in from prospects between the property shortage, the fact that most people had to sign up for two or three different services, oftentimes the same service. I've, I have heard from certain clients that Wailopo can text as many as 30 times in the first month. And some people are signing up for Wailopo accidentally two or three different times, which means that you can theoretically be getting 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 text messages coming in as a mind numbing amount. So yeah, compliance issues have started to be relevant here. Texting is going to become the new telemarketing and telemarketing is my history. You are going to be amazed with how fast laws get clicked into place that say that people who text like automa in automated ways with low value, non-opted in for content can be held liable by the federal government. Okay, it's coming. So I strongly suggest that you do use compliance and hey, I suggest that you don't use automated systems at all, okay? I suggest you handcraft your text messages. That is the nature of my business. I don't send out low value or no value messages ever to customers. I suggest that you do the same thing. Property boost enhancement, okay? Um, this is, I kind of wrote down the title and they did a whole bunch of, Okay, so effectively, effectively what um, Inside Real Estate has done is they've taken advantage of the fact that there's a proliferation of digital branding companies out there right now. You can create digital assets fairly easily that then get converted into PDFs. You can hand them off to branding and identity people who can then use them to help you brand your business. A lot of things, if not most things, even things that where you're going to print them out and you're going to use them for non-digital strategies, oftentimes you still end up having everything out on a digital screen, whether it's a postcard or anything else, you're designing everything there and then the print happens. Okay. Everything is digital. At least I mean, very, very few people are doing every like the manual stuff anymore. So what do these guys do? It's clever. They've created a listing machine and design center where you can essentially take print and marketing assets. And um, I, again, though, they're claiming that this is like a digital identity and branding center. I doubt it. They're competing against 99design and other places, and I doubt that they've got uh, a very strong toolkit, but the fact that they thought of this and figured out a way to leverage some of their, their building tools and come up um, <coughs> with a way to, to set themselves apart was pretty cool. Core Social, they've got now curated articles from Reality to Cooking. Again, I can't see this. I didn't see it when I interviewed the system two years ago. I may have to take a look just to see what this this really is, but here's a problem that every agent who's seeing this is going to have. While this is a nice idea, we got a curated library of articles from Reality to Cooking. Here's what would have to happen for this to be valuable to, to anyone watching this video, either using KV Core or thinking of using KV Core. KV Core is a wide adoption CRM system. That just means that there's probably anywhere from 15 to 50,000 agents already using this. If you're looking at this, there's a very good chance that your broker or brokerage or your regional broker, how, however you, you know, whether you're Keller Williams, EXP, whoever it is, they're probably telling you that they're going to give you a seat on KV Core for free. You might be thinking like watching this video, like from that perspective. Well, guess what? They're giving every agent on your team a seat for free. Certain market centers, Philly, Los Angeles, Utah. Thousands of agents are in the same team, so they're going to all be using the same content. And while it's nice to have a holiday update on your Facebook page, it is actually going to decrease your brand, your authority, to have the same thing there that that. Like if somebody happens to look at two or three other agents, God forbid, should they be vetting you against competitors? And then they notice that three of you are all using the same content. It's not going to play well for you. It certainly doesn't paint you as an expert in your area, your profession or anything. It actually does the exact opposite. Okay. Unfortunately for everybody, the 
idea behind most of these tools is you want stuff where you can publish your unique thoughts and your unique ideas, anything like systems like this. Now, is there a place where you're new to real estate and you just don't have the time to learn how to do unique content? Of course there is. And then this might be handy. At least it's a placeholder, especially if you have a Facebook page with nothing but your friends and family, and it doesn't really matter if they're going to go, uh, they're not going to go to somebody else. Sure, update them with this content. It can be useful in a very limited set of use cases. Power profitability with core home. Um, it's just another search option, not well explained. I've got nothing to say about it. A new approach to recruiting intention with AMP stats. Second update that KV Core has done. Um, actually, now that I think about it, that's what this one was. So they have com they have uh, done something with a local branding company that is basically a social media site for building up recruitment and now AMP stats as well. Okay, it's two big tools to actually communicate to what KV Core is really actually doing. Their growth is driven by mega agents recruiting mostly for EXP. I'd say, I don't know what the number is, but probably 50% of EXP is on this platform. It's a massive part of their revenue stream for sure. So AMP stats is just another um, way to track agent performance metrics and to um, visual net comparisons i haven't seen it you know i don't even know why i'm talking about it i haven't seen it <laughs> i don't I, I don't have anything to say about it if it works the way they say it works great like you have to to understand that these recruitment tools are probably the most exciting thing about kv core this i doubt is more exciting than anything else that anybody else has done in the search space even though they're advertising it differently but there's lots of people out there that are that have been changing the way that people are searching for properties this is no doubt one of those efforts but four five six years behind the curve so they are just competing with other people who are already doing things like shopping in groups for real estate and stuff like that um so i'm overall while i'm very impressed that kv core is making an attempt to update their kit this is definitely a system that is focused on it's like the mcdonald's of real estate crms you know what you're going to get. It's going to be bland food, served fast and hot, and uh, it, they've got locations everywhere. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, if you liked, appreciated this update, um, or any of the real estate news or my insight that you give, just give me a thumbs up. And if you freaking hate what I've got to say, say so down in the notes or give me a kudos uh, like I live for them. Um, that's it. Thanks so much for your time.